Hey everyone, my name is Adaletta from the blog Adaletta of Deech. You can find me online pretty much on any social network at Attitude, A-D-A-A-T-U-D-E. This video is in partnership and collaboration with Bedhead Styling. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bedhead Curly Pops Tapered Tourmaline Ceramic Styling Iron. Not only am I gonna review this product, I'm also going to show you how I used it on my hair and how it's supposed to be used. As you can see from the styling iron, the very tippy top of this is actually much thicker than the very bottom. So this tool is very simple. Plug it in, mine is plugged in at the moment, on off button, pretty much all there is to it. It does have a nice little perch right here. So you can set it very nicely on this so it leaves the end of this pointed upwards. So very cool technology that they've added this to the styling iron. But it's very simple, there's not much to this. There's only one button, on off. Makes it very easy to know exactly what you're going for when you're using a tool like this. The tourmaline in this particular tool is essential for reducing the amount of frizz. There's a lot of styling tools out there that as soon as you start to curl your hair, especially my hair that is very fine, and I have a lot of it too, it just looks like a frizzy mess. So sure, my hair may be curled, but it's very frizzy. And the tourmaline in the styling iron is going to help reduce that frizziness and it's also going to help immensely with the shine that you're going to get with your hair once it's all done. So tourmaline, huge plus. Okay, so those are sort of the basics for what this tool can do. This is something that I've been testing out for the past couple of weeks, so those are some of the benefits that I've noticed myself. Now let's get into the tutorial side of this. Okay, so now that I have my hair separated, this side is in a ponytail, got my glove on, got this turned on, it's heated up, ready to go. I wanna explain how you're supposed to use this wand first because this is a little bit different. Traditionally, you would be curling your hair like this and just wrapping it around, you know? With this wand, we're actually gonna turn it upside down and then wrap the curl around the wand because the very bottom of every strand of hair I have is gonna go around the thickest part of the wand. That's how we get those apple bottom curls at the very bottom. So this is why it's called the reverse tapered. It's actually upside down, essentially, from what you may traditionally know of with the curling iron. Let's hope I do not burn myself So you guys see, upside down, the very bottom of the curl, my hair's a little bit short right now, but the very bottom of my hair is gonna be at the very bottom of this wand. I hope that makes sense. You guys can really see this pretty easily. And then you let it loose. So your curl is essentially going to be the biggest at the bottom and the smallest at the top. Okay, upside down. Wrap it around. And my hair is straight as an arrow, so getting the bottom of my hair to curl is a miracle in and of itself. But I have noticed if I take less hair, if you have really thick, fine hair like me, if you take a smaller piece of hair, you're gonna be able to do more with it towards the bottom if your ends are kind of like mine. So let me just wrap this all the way up. So see, it's a much thinner piece of hair. You're gonna need a little bit more time to go through every strand of hair like this, but you're gonna have much more control because the high heat from this tool is gonna be able to lock this in place a little bit better than if you guys were just going in with thicker strands of hair. So that's one thing to kind of notice. So if you see this particular curl right here, it did the exact thing I wanted it to, but it's because it's one strand of hair. My normal routine is to be done as quickly as possible, but you're not gonna get the same effect. So this is super bouncy and a beautiful curl, but it's because I took a much smaller strand of hair. So keep that in mind. If you take smaller strands of hair, you're gonna have much more of a curl and much more flexibility, making it look the way that it's supposed to with this wand.
Now again, we're going in upside down and around. Here we go. And the goal is really to get your strand all the way to the bottom. That way you have that apple bottom curl towards the bottom. Okay, so that is how you get the look. Again, to rewind, basically what you're gonna do is because this is a reverse tapered, you're gonna turn it upside down and then wrap each strand around this way and you're gonna face it downward and get the bottom of each hair strand at the very bottom of this tool. That's how you're gonna end up with that apple bottom curl at the very bottom of your hair. So basically, super easy. It's just not the traditional way that you would normally curl your hair. You're just gonna turn it upside down, wrap the hair around, and you're gonna have that beautiful bouncy curl with a beautiful head of hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and tutorial of how to use the reverse tapered curling iron from Bedhead Styling. This video, as mentioned earlier, is in partnership and collaboration with Bedhead Styling. If you have any questions beyond anything I've mentioned and explained in this video, you can find me online pretty much anywhere. Again, that was at Attitude, A-D-A-A-T-U-D-E. I hope you're all having an incredible day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye.